overall I think the game does have quite a bit of functionality. Um, the weapon models look really, really good. The animations for everything are very good. Um, day turns to night, night turns to day, rain to shine. It does have very, very nice weather effects. I may have said that already. Um, even you can see the buckshot hitting the water right there. That's pretty impressive. So, anyway, I've been talking about the fire, and it's, uh, the fire is, is just awesome. It's great. You can use it for tactics to box people in if you want. So I'm going to shoot a flare over here into this dry grass, and you'll see the fire spread, and eventually it'll catch the trees and stuff on fire. So there it goes. And you can see it spreads pretty quick. Something else in the game I mentioned earlier about friends that you make uh, as you go along. Pretty much when you die, they will miraculously show up and save your ass. It's a very cinematic experience. They'll pick you up and drag you and things of that nature, and you'll start up with two bars of health and, uh, and kind of go from there. Um, the animations for that are pretty good. It's everything from the guy sticking himself with his syringe to uh, he'll use a Leatherman and cut his leg or whatnot open and kind of do a minor surgery on himself. Uh, something else that I've read on a lot of the reviews people bitch about is that your guy has malaria when you start. That's true. And it can happen at the most inopportune times for sure, but I don't think it's all that annoying. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's very realistic. I mean, you are in Africa. Um, so, I guess to each his own. I don't see it as a big problem, really. Uh, the game also has its own uh, version of Fraps, you could say. It's got its game recorder. So, for those of you that like to make movies, that's a pretty cool aspect. Um, I really can't think of anything that I might have forgotten. It's got a lot of a lot of upgrades you can buy for the guns. A lot of guns. Um, like I said, a lot of shit that you can buy, a lot of things to find, a lot of stuff to do, a lot of places to go. Um, in conclusion, I would give it, I'd give it an eight and a half. Um, the sound is a ten, the graphics are a ten, the gameplay is a ten. The lasting appeal, even if you have a severe case of ADD, this should keep you in gross for at least a month. Um, in my opinion, it's pretty well worth the money. The only thing that, again, I said before that I think sucks is that it was advertised as a wide-open, go-anywhere, do-anything game, which not to say that you can't, but looking at the map, the areas are not near as wide-open as what the game was advertised to be. Those areas are on the outer edge of the map where there's really nothing to do, and even then, they're not that big. So, I'm going to have to knock off one and a half points just for the fact that I feel that the community as a whole was generally lied to and shown that the thing was was huge, like wide open Grand Theft Auto style, when in reality it's really not. But that's something small for all the other functionality the game has. Um, if I've forgotten anything, feel free to send me an email or you know, leave a comment. If you don't like it, then tough shit. Um, and a note on stability, I have not had any crashes and my computer is pretty fucked up. So the game runs very, very smooth. Um, no crashes, no problems. So, on that note, my final score of it is an 85. Again, just because of the fact that, in some ways, we are sort of lied to, the community being we. So, anyway, that's it.